It's breakfast time at this dairy farm at the University of California, Davis. But this cattle feed contains an unusual ingredient, seaweed. We mix it with molasses, so it's a nice little sweet treat for them. Um, we try to mix it as well as we can into their feed, um, but we have some cows that'll uh, pick it out, and we have some cows that'll go right for the seaweed. If they don't eat the seaweed, then we, we, we won't see any reduction in methane. So. UC Davis is testing whether seaweed can reduce emissions of methane, a potent greenhouse gas that's released when cattle burp, pass gas, or make manure. Dairy farms and other livestock operations are major sources of methane. That's why California is requiring them to cut emissions by 40 percent by 2030. Reducing methane ultimately means reducing greenhouse gases and uh, re reducing the impacts of climate change. So it, it affects everybody in the globe. Uh, this is a wild Atlantic kill. Before feeding seaweed to the cows, UC Davis researchers tested in this lab where they can measure emissions in fermenters that simulate cattle stomachs. And we can test the um, effect of different feed um, additives on the gut microbiology. Here we have some milk samples. They also test milk samples for flavor and nutritional value. The methane content of the cow's breath is measured when they stick their heads in these feeding machines. The first study of the seaweed diet only involved a dozen cows. The early results show promise and larger studies are planned. And so far, it's very encouraging. We've seen over 30% of uh, reduction in, in, in methane emissions. Around the world, dairy scientists are looking for ways to reduce cattle emissions by spicing up their diet. They've tried garlic, oregano, cinnamon, and even curry, with mixed results. At the University of Wisconsin, researchers are studying how a cow's breed, as well as what and how much they eat, affects their emissions, which they measure with this treat dispensing device. The machine draws air from the breath of the cow and the machine continuously measures uh, the concentrations of the methane in the air. Really what drives the emission from the cow is how much the cow eats. Because the more the cow is going to eat, the more she needs to process that feed and the more methane she's going to produce. Researchers hope seaweed and other food additives can help reduce emissions and make dairy farms more climate friendly. Harry Che, Associated Press, Davis, California.